Hi, I'm Lori Sylvia, founder of the Rally Recruitment Marketing Community. Today I'm sharing with you some valuable insights about using AI to power the creation of your employer brand. It's from a presentation that I gave at the Talent Acquisition Week conference. People said it was excellent information that helped them rethink their approach to employer branding. So I've turned this into a series called How to Use AI for Employer Branding. In this video, I explain the impact that AI image creation will have on your employer brand strategy. Stick to the end when I'll share a pro tip on how you can protect the authenticity of your employer brand in the new world of AI. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's dive in. So take a look at these two images. Which one do you think was created by AI? Well, the answer is the left was generated by AI. And so how did you do? Okay. I'd love to find out when you gave me your answer or just when you thought it in your head, what was it about each of these photographs that made you think this was generated by AI and this one was real? I've done polls like this a half a dozen times this year with various audiences, and I'm always using different images. And most people think that the AI generated image is actually real. The introduction of AI generated images is going to create one of the biggest challenges that we face in our careers, which is how do we ensure the authenticity of our employer brand in this new era? And if you're watching House of the Dragon, anybody there watching House of the Dragon um, right now, like I am, or you're, you know, big fans of Game of Thrones, you know the phrase protector of the realm. And so I want all of us now to have this, you know, extra job title, which is protector of authenticity. Because if you've faced challenges in ensuring the authenticity of how you portray your company's employer brand, this challenge is about to become exponentially more difficult. And I'm going to explain why. Research shows that it's getting harder for us to tell the difference between real photos and AI generated photos. An article last November in The Guardian shared the results of an international study in which participants had to look at a series of faces of white people and had to guess which was real and which was generated by AI. And the results were that 66% of AI um, images were rated as human compared to 51% of real images, meaning that people thought more of the AI images were real. And if that doesn't scare you, how about this? The team that did the research developed a machine learning algorithm that identified human images with 94% accuracy. So machines can identify humans more than humans can identify other humans. Well, Manipulation of photographs has been around for a long time, right? As long as photography has been around. And today we're all using filters and blurring and we can change our backgrounds in a click. Um, and, you know, software like Photoshop and Canva, which I'm sure we all use, they now have amazing built-in AI features. So it's getting more and more sophisticated and also easier and easier to use. I raised the topic of AI generated images because I think that we need to be aware of the potential implications for employer branding. We all know that we shouldn't use stock images in employer branding, right? Like nod your head or put into chat, like we all know this. Um, we do our best to uphold this rule, right? Um, we know that our career site and our social channel should feature real photos of the people who work at our company. But it's not easy to get great photos with the right composition, the right lighting, photos um, where our office or facility looks inviting, and of course, photos that show the diversity of our team. This is a stock photo that I downloaded from iStock, and I searched for this photo by typing in diverse team collaborating in a modern office. And this is an Im image that I generated with AI. I used Adobe Express to create an image of five diverse people collaborating around a table in a modern office. So how do you think it compares to the stock photo I just showed you? And I'll go back for just a second so you can look at it again. So this is the real photo. And this is the AI generated image. So it's eerily good. Um, now, we've been saying for years, no stock photos in employer branding. We need to commit to no fakes in employer branding. How about this one? I generated this also with Adobe Express. My son thought this was real. Until I showed him this version, I used a tool called Fodor to put my face on the person in the middle. Now, imagine a group photo that's taken at your office, and one person in the photo is no longer with your company. They've left. 
Now, in the past, we might have cropped out that person in the photo or maybe even um, Photoshopped them out of the photo, but today it's just as easy to replace that person's face. So if you wanna show more diversity, why not use AI to generate the image? There's a lot of discussion about ethics of AI generated images, primarily for the risk in creating fake people and portraying them as real or showing real people in fake situations. And there's an organization called the Coalition for Content Provenance and Authenticity, or C2PA for short, that has introduced an official content credentials icon of transparency to create trust with digital content. It's kind of like a digital nutrition label for content. And companies like Google and Adobe and Microsoft, they're all on board. So I asked Microsoft's Bing's image generator to create an image of diverse people working in a modern office, collaborating on a project. And as you can see, there is a content credentials information in the metadata of the file. Like, that's great, but what about the fact that all the people portrayed are young and beautiful? So yes, we wanna make our employer brands appealing, and yes, showing diversity in our organizations is important, but we have to be authentic about the people who work at our company today, and that in includes who is actually here, even if we don't have the full representation that we're striving for. You're going to hear lots about this topic of um, labeling AI-generated content in the coming years. The social platforms already are asking their content creators to, to, to label, and they're starting to label themselves automatically if they detect AI-generated content. Um, so it's something, you know, what I mean content, I mean, I mean images and videos audio too. So it's something for us to be aware of, okay, as we are building our um, social recruiting strategies. So no matter which house of the dragon you're rooting for, you are the protector of authenticity when it comes to employer branding. And so let's all make the commitment not to show real people in fake situations or fake people in real situations. Welcome back. How was it? It's so important for all of us to consider the potential implications of AI image generation on employer branding and the risks of AI generated content. Remember, you are the protector of authenticity. If you wanna dive more into this topic, check out my certificate course called Mastering AI for Employer Branding, where you'll learn how to use AI at every step of launching or refreshing your employer brand. Now, in the next two videos in this series, I'll show you the old way versus the new way of creating your employee value proposition. P.S. The new way uses AI. And then I'll share what embracing AI can do for your career. I'll share the links to those videos. I hope this video has taught you some new strategies and skills. Keep the learning going over at rallyrecommitmarketing.com. See you next time.